Friends, it is time. After dozens of comments, after countless requests, we are starting our long play of Faith the Unholy Trilogy. I have been promising this series for quite some time now, and it looks like it's time to deliver. I frequently ask you guys if longer series are something you would like to see, and every time I ask, you guys always respond with, yes, please. And I thought there's no better game to kick this off than Faith, one of my most requested games to cover on both my TikTok and YouTube channels. And normally before we start, I like to, you know, connect with you guys at the start, ask you something, maybe tell you a little bit about myself, but not today. Today, I have but one thing to say before we start the playthrough. May God have mercy on our souls. Without further ado, here is Faith the Unholy Trilogy. So I've already done the instructions on my own time, so we're just going to jump right in and begin the playthrough. Um, obviously, we're going to start with chapter one. Here we go. Back, or we'll just do new game. There's 20 notes to collect. Okay. Flashlight mode, lantern mode. All right, I guess those are modes unlocked later. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm so excited to play this game. I've been wanting to play it for a long time. All right, we're a priest. Interesting. I love these visuals. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay. So I guess that counts as a note. Well, let's just head north and see. That's where the trail leads. We have a deer. Oh. I'm going to follow in the direction of that deer. I feel like this is very purposeful. Okay. What is this? Can I examine this here? Escape. Okay, this is a map, it looks like. Resume. Let me check real quick. I want to see. Options, master volume, stick dead zone. Nope, none of that. What is going on? We just wander in the forest? Oh! That is so unsettling for some reason. I'm not even sure where we're supposed to be headed. Okay. Let's see. Oh! Am I... Okay! <laughs> so, that is not... Alright. I'm a little, like, shell-shocked at what's going on here. Okay, so apparently we're... We're in the forest. We need to... I guess we need to find that house. Probably... This way? Or... Uh, the other way? Um... And it looks like there's some entity in the forest pursuing us. Okay, so right here, let's go ahead and grab the note. And we're going to head to the right this time and see what we can find here. We're going to head to the right. Let's go ahead and head up. So we kind of need to walk through the forest with the idea that this entity could appear at any moment type thing. Okay, here we go. What's yep, like that. Then we despawn him. Okay. So we got the hang of it now. We just need to make sure that we're fairly close to the screen. Oh, I can use the cross to fend him off. That's right. Okay. So we do have a means to defend ourselves. Okay. What did I just do that? I'd love to know what he's saying. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical... Co 
Historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Oh, we got to attend. Interesting. I wonder if we can interact with more of these things around the forest? I'm going to follow the deer again. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this is the house I was looking for. Okay. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed, seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the rite that may seem harsh to the layperson. So is this the shed? Oh. What was that in the window? Okay. I was kind of at the ready with that, so... We're good. I have no idea what that thing is. Is it... Someone that's possessed, possibly? Okay, let's check here. Um... So I've been to the house, so we kind of need to head l left and north a bit here. I'm gonna kind of head that way. We just need to be careful. There's going to be something that appears here. In that shed was a key. I don't know what that key is used for yet. I'm assuming it's to get into this house. We'll see. A lot of questions. We don't know exactly what we're going to do. I'm assuming it's some sort of exorcism. And then there's this body that we found earlier. Hmm. Okay. So if we go north enough, we're definitely going to find the point where we'll eventually probably just need to head right. I love the art style of this game. It's it's tough to make something genuinely unsettling with this kind of an art style, but they've pulled it off. I mean, whatever that creature is, for sure. Jeez. Oh, okay. Mr. Martin. It has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent... Wait. Okay. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson... State of Connecticut Historical Society. I remember when I was booting the game up, it mentioned something about... Wait a minute. Oh! It mentioned something about him returning to the house. So are we returning to the house that we were at before? Today I no noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her voluntary work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Oh, you don't want that. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. So, Amy, I think, is obviously possessed, right? And I'm assuming something happened where this particular priest was involved in some way in the possession and now we're returning to the house because there's unfinished business this is what i'm guessing here um so i think that's the tree on the map all the way at the bottom left so i think we kind of it it loops basically oh man this is not gonna be good just more information. You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 
Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Turn right. Does that mean this way? Like straight past the well this way? Is that kind of guiding us to the house? Because I know that's where we need to be. Yes! Okay. And I'm assuming this key is going to get us in. Oh, I don't like this. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Wow. So, yes, this is very similar to The Exorcist. Okay. There's a lot of stuff I kind of want to exp Is it just quiet in here? Oh, shit. I don't like that at all, guys. Oh, Billy. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of look around the house. I knew that was something suspicious. And Amy is in purple. Okay. I wonder how this happened. Well, I guess, you know, returning to the house, we're naturally going to learn more about it. Let's go ahead and explore the ground floor first before we head upstairs. So what's going through your guys' head right now? Like, how do you feel about this type of presentation in a horror game? This is so unique. You know, I always encourage and, and love these really unique um, takes on horror. I think horror can be presented in so many different ways. This is so cool. It says Nate. It, uh, well, I think it says Nate at the bottom right. Yeah, because that's who the invitation was for, right? So it's some sort of entity. And then it looks like someone in a robe summoning them, possibly? In broad daylight? I'm not sure exactly what that means. Did Nate summon something that ended up possessing Amy? Could be. I'm just throwing out theories here, guys, but, you know, if you guys want to give me, like, if you're watching right now and you want to do, like, a live comment and tell me maybe what your guesses are, if you haven't seen this game for yourself. Okay, this is, looks like the master bedroom here. Okay. I don't see anything that looks like it's of interest here. All right, we're going to go check the mirror real quick. There is something behind us. Oh. Shit. Can we... I don't think we can do anything about it. Okay. Let's, let's kind of... So there's an upstairs and a downstairs. Okay. My thoughts are all over the place right now. I just want to know, like, what exactly is happening. Exercise bike. I want to look around first, get an idea of what we got going on here. It doesn't... Okay. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. So it doesn't seem like if, if there's any sort of like visual indication you can interact with it, it, it seems as though you can't. Which makes our lives easier for sure. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. Hmm. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. 
Well, uh, seems like the person writing this is a bit, uh, you know, judgy, maybe possibly racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she could rather have a phone instead. Or I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect, spoke perfect Latin. I called, excuse me, I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. So this is now from the perspective of the priest. Okay, interesting. Oh. Any of these toys? Hmm. It doesn't seem like we can do anything with any of them here. Simon says... Edge of sketch? This thingy? No. Okay, so back to this door we go. Or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and head downstairs. I think it's going to come to maybe a confrontation with the demon that we never ended up actually getting rid of. Because I'm assuming this is the same priest. He, he, he mentioned wanting to return to this house. I imagine it's the same one. Okay, I see a little bit of a blood trail in the left here. Washing machine. Nope. Water. Nope. Maybe something here. I don't even know what this is. A crib? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice... Kimbamba? They practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San, San La Muerte or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I've prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. So they're trying to get him to convert, basically. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Okay. Like Professor Layton? I'm still... V I'm still very unnerved with how quiet everything is. Are none of these... What? Why are these here? All right, we're going to just... None of... I can't interact with any of this? Okay. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on here? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. So maybe this isn't Father Allred. Maybe this is the person that was with Father Allred. Maybe someone studying um, at the church. And this looks like the master bedroom. She is here. Who? Amy? 
Oh. I don't know where she, where she's coming from. Oh. Wait a minute. I just guessed it was the top one. Is that right? So I guess we're coming back to finish the job that we started because the exorcism wasn't completed. That's probably Amy. I still can't go in that door. Oh, okay. I just get squished. Okay. I feel like I'm going to be hearing that a lot. <laughs> okay. Regroup. We got this. She's here. Okay. Look at that animation, man. That's so cool looking. Okay, she's here. So we basically need to... I guess I just guessed right at the start. Is she going to be in this room? It's ran? Oh, no. Okay. Alright. So let's... Alright, so I'm just kind of guessing here. I imagine we head back downstairs. Ground floor. We can't leave without getting rid of her at this point. Oh, shit! Yeah, Mortis. Okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. We got it, we got it. She is here. I'm not afraid of you. You're just annoying me at this point. I feel like other people did not have nearly as much trouble as I'm having. But, I'm determined to get through it. I don't know what she's saying, but it can't be good. Alright, she's going to appear. There we go. Okay, we got it. When in doubt, whip it out. Maybe not. The minute I see a symbol. The minute I see one. The power of Christ compels you. There we go. There we go. You're gonna be here. I knew it. I... It's the bloody door. We got it. This is the run. Let's go. Oh, I wonder if this. Oh, this is the attic. Right. OK. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She blank my superior, father blank. So she probably either killed or possessed my superior, father Allred, with blank. When I confronted her, she blank managed to cut the power to the house and blank her own parents. So probably killed her own parents with their own. All right, so there's there's a lot of this we can't read, but it turns out it basically the exorcism failed. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Is that us? No. My god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my pretty. 
priest. She's mine, priest. Is this gonna work? I'm assuming I just need to continuously, continuously avoid this... Whatever the hell. Did we get her? No! This is like... Alright. I didn't expect this to be, like, reflexes, skills-based. Okay, we got it. We got it. That animation is insanely good. Actually insanely good animation, though. Can I avoid that? I pointed the cross right at her. All right, let's try that again. Thank you. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Can I? What am I doing wrong? Can I dodge that? I can. Jeez. That is a very small window. Oh my gosh. That's a really small window to dodge. Ooh! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm too fast. Ooh! Is it always the opposite direction? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, come on! It's like a super boss. Oh, there we go! There's like boss battles? There's like a legit boss battle. I was not expecting this at all in this game. Okay, the, the, the checkpoints are very generous. Okay. All right. Jeez. Do I have to like wait for her to finish that whole, okay, all right. Wow. This is cool, though. I like it. Maybe. We'll see. Still up. Still up for debate. Okay. Come on. I, I just... The character moves so slow. Ugh. I can't, um, make her go back with the cross at all. The cross doesn't work on her, right now. It's best to just, like, be as far away... ...as possible? Does she only move with the... ...star? I think she only- I think she only moves with the star! Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We can do this. Sorry for dying so much, guys. We got a lot. Okay. Don't get greedy. 
Yes, Mortis, thank you. Mortis, Mortis, Mortis. All right, so she does move with the star. Was I too close? Okay. This is peak gameplay we're witnessing here. Very high skilled gamer. I don't even have to be that close. I don't know why I did that. Good. I just totally missed. No, 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 no! Okay, come on, come on! She, yes, she can only move within the star. Come on! How much health does she got? Oh! <gasps> yes! Do you have another form? Oh. Okay. Is she exercised? Should we leave? Should we check the basement? It's okay. It says kill her. A gun with one bullet. I just shot the gun with one bullet. <sighs> yep. All right. Well, that's good. That's great. Good. Good. Pick up the gun with one bullet. Shoot it immediately. Great. Oh, can I grab it again? Good. Don't press space. Where is she? Is she in the basement here? No, I bet she went outside. That way. All right, we're going to go ahead and exit stage right. We're going to head out into the woods. Or did she... No, she... I don't think you can go out this way. Okay, we're going to head back this way. If I don't get stuck on de geometry. Now, where would she be in the woods? There. Boom. See ya. Is that it? Okay. All right. Mission accomplished. I will say of the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. Okay. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Ending two of five, father and son? Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance once of the work I'm doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return. Oh, excuse me. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. 
So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our possessions. The photograph is missing. New background unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So there are like, there's five endings in that? Obviously we don't have time to go through all five endings for all five, uh, or for all three chapters. Like, I'm wondering if I should just kind of play through the game, get through each chapter and see what ends up happening. But let me check out the, the chapter mode. Let's look at chapter one. Continue new game notes. Load the most recent save. Let's go ahead and see where this... Okay. Well, what if we don't shoot him? What if we don't take the gun? He runs away? Oh! <gasps> okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this time we're gonna grab the gun. We're going to head to the guy. And this is where she is. Boom, okay. Now are we good? Okay, here we go. This should definitely be a different ending. I'm hoping. We get pulled over? Oh, I guess because we just murdered somebody? Yeah, okay. All right. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of Stur of a sterling girl who had been missing. John, Warren, John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin's home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. So is there like a canon ending to that? That's so interesting. Okay, so it seems like each chapter is kind of like its own special story that can have lots of different endings and, 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 you know, canon situations depending on what happens. Interesting. We'll see how chapter two goes. We'll just make our way through the game normally and kind of, you know, take it one step at a time. Um, I definitely enjoyed what I played so far today. I hope you guys did too. If you guys want to see more Faith, the Unholy Trinity, please let me know. That's all for today's playthrough, guys. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll talk to you very soon.